what do you think is wrong with it? Um, <coughs> just the perspective. Like, I love drawing in perspective a lot. Mm -hmm. But something's up with, um, just, like, the facial expression and, like, the way the body's posed. I wanted him to, like, have his arms crossed, like, one holding a pen. Oh. And then, um, his, uh, this is my persona, and I was gonna have them as a banner for, mm -hmm. like, my social media. And, um, I plan on doing, um, guitar, so, like, I was gonna do, like, him doing the rock symbol with his hands. And, um, but I think, I also know that I don't flip the canvas a lot, mm -hmm. so that is probably an issue. And um, I don't look at the silhouette of my character, so it looks like everything is just going into himself. <laughs> I mean, overall, it's pretty good. I moved a, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. So the thing with perspective is learn how to foreshadow. For I know it's for shortening. I think that's the word for shortening. Well, yeah. what you can do is uh, with very impressive perspectives is use a triangle. So this way you know how uh, how much drastic you want the perspective to be. So uh, let's say I want to make it this drastic. There we go. So here the fit would um So this leg would be would be a little bit longer. I am unsure how buffy your character is. Do you happen to have a reference? I uh, put several references in the uh, link. Okay. Oh, thank you. I just saw it. Because I, I knew the other two characters, so it was kind of easy. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Oh, yes. There is a body reference. Perfect. Now I get, I get the silhouette a little bit more. I would say that the body would be around there. The, the, the leg that troubles me definitely is this one. Yeah, me too. The only thing I could think that can help your your um, your expression is to make the the eyebrows modify mm -hmm. your eye shape. This will give it more emotion. So you know that this eye is stretched because of the curve, 
while this one is um, the opposite <laughs> of stretch. Yeah. Then the mouth could be a little bit further up. That looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this smile is making the eye fold here, like come smaller and the eye grow too. That's gonna make it more powerful expression. Like when your, uh, your face elements are being affected by the other elements, like the smile here and the eyebrow. Yeah. You can even add some growl. <laughs> now the hands. This one I like where it's placed, so I'm gonna try to place it the same way. because you want it to be very expressive you can exaggerate the proportions a lot without being afraid of it sometimes yeah that makes more sense <laughs> you can sacrifice a little bit of anatomy for a better expressionism of your character mm. especially works the, le the least realistic you want your style to be so as you see, I see that the, the fingers are squarish and such. There's a really powerful style you want to keep. So I you can just be less afraid of doing these adjustments to anatomy and such.
the horns, I believe, are a little bit out of perspective. They should be also for Shorten. This is something that will look better once you shade. Yeah. But I think you kind of get the idea that they should be kind of like shortened because they are facing the camera. So they should go towards it and not further from it. Yeah. You can also add, so it shows that he's singing. Well, this is what I would do. So much better, thank you. <laughs> I love his expression. Thank you. Thank you. I think it, it can even be shortened a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. Perspective is an awesome, scary thing. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to work with. Yes. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And the last one is Sistar. Let's go.